I'm Bridget Shanahan. A warning tonight from Congressman Peter Welch about the fuel we're putting into our cars, lawnmowers, and chainsaws. He says ethanol can be harmful and new mandates from the EPA could ruin the machines in your garage. It, it's really a, a, a situation that just isn't working. And Congress has got to acknowledge that this is a mistake. Not only does he say ethanol is not working, Congressman Peter Welch goes so far as to say it's doing real damage to everyone. And with the EPA poised to raise our ethanol fuel mandate from 10 to 15 percent, Welch is pushing his legislation that could stop it. The renewable fuel standard in and of itself makes some sense as long as the products that you're using to go into creating that renewable fuel do good, not harm. This is what he's talking about. Ethanol blended gasoline can hurt your lawnmowers, chainsaws, and any other piece of seasonal equipment you might use. That's because when the corn based alternative fuel sits unused for as little as four weeks, it can corrode the inner workings of your machine by oxidizing the aluminum. Most people don't understand it until they get stung by it. If they have lawnmowers, chainsaws, and they're not maintained well, it ends up hurting them. Adam Porter is the co-owner of the small engine company in Colchester, and he says 60% of his business is making repairs caused by ethanol damage. Repairs can be anywhere from 50 to three to four hundred dollars depending on the piece of equipment and how much damage because it's not only the carburetors but fuel lines. But there are some who support an increase in ethanol at the pump. A recent study by Iowa State University argues that ethanol actually helps to keep your gas prices lower. They say between 2000 and 2010 on average ethanol kept gas prices 25 cents lower. They go on to say if you removed it entirely from the market, gas prices could spike. Regardless of gas prices, Porter insists an increase in ethanol blends to 15 percent would be worse. Uh, most of this equipment, it will only run once or twice on it and it'll fail. You'll have a $300 chainsaw and it will fail. Now coming up tonight at 6 o'clock, we'll tell you how ethanol is impacting local dairy farmers and your next trip to the grocery store. That's coming up tonight at 6 right here on News Channel 5.